I love uh, the example of uh, uh, Fairmont Royal York in Toronto, uh, which is a historical building. So it's even more difficult to, to manage, but they've invested a lot in terms of renovation, in terms of uh, carbon neutrality. And so they are the one among the ones to show that it is possible even for a conversion and a historical building. So it's more and more, it's pretty difficult. And maybe André, no. To, to, to ask you, is it, according to you, a dream, an exception, or is oh, it uh, feasible? Uh, when you build something new, you have a lot of, uh, of obligation. But the, the real topic is about all the old buildings in the city that are there for 100, 200 years. But uh, zero is, is maybe the perfection. But the real, what is really important is to try to reduce. And the owner should always remember, when you do these things about carbon reduction, you reduce your cost, you improve the value of your real estate, and it's much easier to get financing from the bank. So it's something good for the planet, but it's something good for your accounts as well. Yeah. And you say, oh, sorry, uh, Mangui, uh... No, no, I think it's very important because I like to say that the golden rule is uh, those who have the gold that rules. So it's very important that you see benefit when you invest and that there is a virtuous forces mm. that push everyone uh, to the right directions. Yes, but maybe about this question, we live in a very financing uh, f f uh, world and we should uh, sometimes think about l really long term. Long term is not three years, it's not five years. Long term is two generations. So uh, the, the, the people who decide don't have to say, I don't get my, my, my money back in five years. Sometimes they have really to, to, have a, to make the action, even if it comes back in 10 years, low consumption uh, be, uh, versus uh, higher investment.